I'm going to talk a little bit more today about Drupal, seeing as some people have been wanting it. I'm going to talk about how to integrate AdSense in, in the right place automatically in our Drupal site. Now, if we go... If we go to our website, again, I'm on my local install. Uh, if we go over to our site, I'm going to sort of look at the layout here. So it's a bit messed up, but here's the main content, right? So, let's look at a scenario. I'm just going to create a story here. Um, and I'm just going to... Give it some body text save that oh, I forgot to give it a title so th there's our title and if we save that we then look at our full node and we're going to look at the layout so excluding this um, sidebar where's the place that we want to put our ads for maximum um, reading well the place you want to put them is down here where my arrow is at the end of the content because that's where people's eyes are focused um, because that's just the way it works so today we're going to look at how to use two Drupal modules AdSense um, more importantly AdSense Injector to make that happen what really um, works is the AdSense injector module but it needs AdSense to work um, so if we look at kind of the, the lay of the land here um, I'm not actually going to show you today because I've actually forgotten the password for my Google account I'm not logged out but I've just forgotten the password um, so, so yeah uh, when we've got the AdSense and the AdSense injector modules enabled we basically get this AdSense tab under AdSense configuration and the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to show on every page unless you wanted to change it and then in the advanced options, we're probably going to want to um, not show the placeholder text because it's part of the um, it's part of the agreement that you don't take you don't state that they're Google ads. So just to be on the safe side, we want to enable section targeting. So if you've got this in the teaser node, it'll um do it and then the most important part of configuring the core adsense is entering in your publish id that's the big long number next to your name and email address which says publisher id on in your adsense account so let's look at configuring adsense in injector to um, do what we want it to do which is place 
things at the end of Node. And it's got some cool insert inline add on the node body and page of this. You, you want to check that and you, you also want to change this. So I'll only show ads on nodes with a certain word count. So if you only want to show ads on long pages, you could just put 200 there. Uh, and there's the div so you know how to style it. And it's just some basic with some BR tags. And um, here's, here's the no node view. You can choose what content types to enable it in so this is only a test site so i've only got two content types but i sincerely hope that you would have more um uh, uh so i'm just gonna enable it for the st story content type and this is the bit that we can enable into a page.tpl to allow for teasers so you can choose what whether or not you want it to be available in teasers um, and you can put that in um, your page.tpl.php file or your node template for that specific node so you would go into your site and I'm kind of going going out on a whim here so um, forgive me if this all goes to pot but I just want to demonstrate this um, so, in your theme, which should be in sites, all, and then themes, um, and inside your theme, uh, you should have a node dot tpl dot php file and um, this will basically insert it at the end of nodes so we're basically going to paste that code after the last closing div and um, after the links so I'm just going to paste that code in this is the code that I got from the um, thing and that code will be automatically entered into um no node um entries and I just wanted to say as a side note as this is kind of um related to the absence module is if you wanted to make a di different layout for a specific content type then you just uh, duplicate the existing file and, and change its name from node.tpl dot php to node dash and then the machine name of your content that so in my case it's story and then that's gonna alter things specifically to um that part of the theme so that's a general way of styling different things but um, that's kind of related to the AdSense module. 
just to show you that that works, I'm going to um, go into my uh, I'm going to, this is bad inline styling, but I'm going to apply the style attribute and I'm just going to say colour is red just to prove that you can and um, this changes nodes in dependently of other nodes and you can that's also a way of implementing this on specific nodes so it hasn't worked and I don't know why but as you see the AdSense code has been added at the bottom there and that would work if you um, that would work if you that's shown that it's added that div at the end of the if we just use firebug and look at that element we see that in the node this is what we manipulated before there's that div that we copied before um that div there so showing that that's added that and we can manipulate it from there so thank you for watching this video with regards to how to style or implant adsense into your site Thanks for watching.